Okay, it's been about 15 minutes or so since the last video, first video, or second video actually. Uh, so this will be the third little segment. Um, I just thought I'd show you the pieces all apart because I'm obviously on the tedious task of disassembling it slowly after my dry fit to make sure everything was going to work okay and fit in the box. So I'm disassembling it, sanding everything, um, and um, we'll be reassembling it. So again, this is not... Uh, an education on soldering. There's plenty of places you can go for that. So if anybody says, "Oh, you know, you're doing this wrong, doing that wrong," that's fine. You know, you can do it your own way. Uh, I just want to give an idea of the components. Um, so if anybody liked the way I did it, um, great. You know, you'll have a little bit better idea um, of exactly um, what I have here. So of course, you can see the half-inch riser pipes, and then in a pile there, there is a T and a two-inch piece of three quarter inch pipe um, and what I'll do is I'll just line the video up here and I'll go over there and kind of show you a little bit of the assembly of a couple of them and again these are dry fits yes it's all sanded now however um, I'm not fluxing yet because this is just for the purpose of showing you um, how it goes together so I have my half inch riser pipe I have my three quarter three quarter to half inch T and I have this is nothing but a three quarter inch piece of copper pipe um, cut off at two inches long so um, it just goes together like this um, slide it up onto the riser pipe and what you have to do uh, because you can't uh, slide it in and bend this pipe to get in you have to slide it onto the riser pipe first and once you get it on the riser pipe you can make the connection they're probably not all the way in at the other end either um, you can make the connection like that so I just take slide another one of these in I'm just going to show you a couple of these because I don't want to disassemble it all so I have to flux it and then I'll start the soldering process so I just slide a two inch piece of pipe in and again these are all sanded you can see they're all ready to go other than the flux. Slide it on the half inch riser pipe. Bring it over. Oops, I yanked it out. See, this is real time. These things happen. But anyway, this 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 is okay because that side's not done yet anyway. And you would slide it together. I'll do one more and hopefully try not to pull it apart at the other end. But it should go pretty good. So I'm just sliding two inch piece of three quarter inch pipe, two inch long. Sliding it on my riser, and then sliding it in the one next to it. That's it. And it'll go all the way down, obviously with flux on it, and then I'm going to start the soldering process. But those are the components that I used. There's other people made them other ways. Again, no right or wrong way. I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, and if you like it, Hopefully I give you enough information uh, that you could duplicate it. If you have any questions, by all means, go ahead and comment or ask a question right on the YouTube video, and I'd be more than happy to answer it the best that I can. Okay, so i got to disassemble, flux this, and start assembling. I'm probably not going to show any of the soldering, because again, I'm not teaching that. There's plenty of places you can go for that. I'm just showing you how I would set mine up, okay? And we will talk to you a little bit later.